We'd like to welcome everyone to our final press conference of Fight Week for the main event. It's been an exciting promotion ever since we first announced the fight. When Oscar and I were doing all the interviews uh, to announce the fight, it's just been a, a great promotion. When you have two world champions fighting each other, the two biggest punchers in the middleweight division fighting each other, with everything uh, to risk. It's really what the fans and the media respond to. What a beautiful country we live in, right? I mean, the U.S. of A. Only in the U.S. can you have a fighter from Canada, a fighter from Kazakhstan, a fighter from Nicaragua, a fighter from Hawaii, a fighter from, where else? Cuba, and, and, and sell out the garden. I mean, what a beautiful country and the people that live in it, you know? That, that's, that's what it's all about. God bless the U.S. of A. And let me tell you one thing. I had the other day, I think about six of my relatives, all women, watching this fight because of this man here, you know. I mean, we're attracting the world with this fight. This is an international event with two international fighters, two champions, two middleweights, giving you the best fight that you can possibly watch on October 17th, live on HBO pay-per-view. The best network by far for boxing. You know, I've, I've been involved in many, some of the biggest pay-per-view events in boxing history, and we've had the pleasure to promote uh, most of them. And to me personally, this feels like a mega event. Not, not only because the garden is, is selling out. Um, you know, you can feel the, the electricity. You can feel the, the energy. But because casual fans are asking about this fight, my Mexican relatives are asking about this fight. You know, you have Triple G who loves fighting the, the Mexican style, you know, and, and you have David Lemieux who I think is almost practically Mexican, you know. But let me tell you about the chills that I get being in the great Madison Square Garden, the middleweight unification. And we know in boxing, unification is, is really rare. 14, if my math is correct, plus years ago, we had that. And nobody know when they're gonna check out of this life, but a lot of people in this room don't wanna wait 14 more years, they might not have it in them. So you get a chance to see this every 10, 14, 20 years because of the politics, and I'm not gonna waste too much time on that, things don't, happen like they should for the sake of the sport. But nevertheless, we're here to rescue some of that behavior, and we have it. This Saturday on HBO Pay Per View, you have two guys that don't need to repeat over and over every time someone get up here how much they can punch. I think y'all convinced by that just by the record. But it's a chill in the air because one thing about Madison Square Garden that haven't been mentioned up to now, there are some strange things that happen in this garden. Y'all know. There are some things that happen in this garden that you can never say never. And I know that we have a guy on our side that believes he can win. But he also respects Triple G to understand that he has to be not good, not so-so. He has to be near, if not perfect. And Triple G is not a guy that underestimates anybody either. Look the way he fights. He's a hunter. 
He's not used to getting hunted. If y'all paid attention and know the sweet science of boxing. He's a hunter. And so I won't reveal what you do to a hunter, because hunters normally have a gun. In our case, we carry two. You have to disarm those two guns, and let's fight. I know what's been said, but I'd like to personally thank the Garden and their staff, HBO, David and his team, Bernard and Oscar, obviously our team. And I look forward to matching uh, boxing smarts with Mark Ramsey, who I think is a exceptional coach. I look forward to watching these two guys battle it out in the ring and look for an explosive, explosive fight. I don't think anybody's going to be disappointed. Thank you. Uh, first of all, let me bring up to the stage uh, Mesdames and Messieurs. He comes to us from uh, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. 34 victories, 31 wins by knockout, only two defeats. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning and defending IBF middleweight champion of the world, David Lemieux! <sighs> wow. <laughs> Hello, New York. <laughs> I couldn't be more proud to be here. Uh, I couldn't be prouder to be here today. Uh, I came a long way. You know, I'm not going to talk to you about camp, because uh, I think everybody knows it's obvious that at our level, we are going to be at our best. The fighters right now, I'm at my best shape. I'm sure Golovkin's at his best shape. It's going to be history in the making, but I'm going to tell you about where I come from. I come from far. I come, you know, I've had, I've, I've faced, I faced a lot of victories. I faced defeat, and nothing is more more exciting and more gratifying than a beautiful, a beautiful victory, such as I'm planning on Saturday. You know, this is what dreams are made of. Fighters uh, fighting at the a field up Madison Square Garden. Uh, you know, uh, I couldn't be more more happy to be to be where I am here today. Uh, I came a long way. Uh, I've done a lot of changes in my life. And right now, I know all of what I've done in the past is where I'm supposed to be here today, and I'm ready for this. And I'm ready for a, spect a spectacular night in front of the world, where this great city, New York, at the Madison Square Garden, extremely proud to be here. And I'm not here to play. I'm not here to, I'm here to make history. And I've done everything it takes in the gym to make sure that when I leave the Madison Square, I don't leave empty-handed. I leave with them belts. Uh, I work extremely hard. I'm extremely confident in, in, my, in myself, in my team. I have great people are, uh, around me. I have a great manager, Camilla Stefan. I have a great promoter, Eric Gomez, Oscar De La Hoya, Bernard Hopkins. Uh, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready for everything. I heard Golovkin say if he wants a street fight, it'll be a street fight. If he wants a 12 rounds, it'll be 12 rounds. If he wants knockout, hey, as much as whatever you want, I want it too. So let's see who's the best. Let's see who's going to leave this place with all them belts. I promise one thing, that it's going to be a night to remember for the world and for boxing. This is a great event. I'm, I'm in extremely great shape. Uh, I couldn't be more proud to be here. And I couldn't be more ready for this victory. So thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Gaspada. He is, he comes to us from uh, Kazakhstan, fights and trains out of California, USA, up in Big Bear. And uh, he is the holder of an undefeated record, a perfect record. 33 fights, 33 victories, 30 wins by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the reigning and defending WBC mandatory, the WBA and IBO middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Triple G Golovkin. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm very happy to be here again. This is my second home. 
you know, Madison Square Garden, I have a lot of fights here. Thank you, special, for family Madison. It's an amazing team, amazing family. Of course, thank you very much to HBO, pay-per-view, for support, for intention, because it's the biggest day to people and for us. Thank you for promotions, it's a good deal. Golden Boy, respect Oscar and Bernard, and K2 promotions. It's an amazing deal for us. We have four belts, unification fight, and pay-per-view, wow. I'm very excited this day. First of all, I'm a boxer. Please welcome Madison Square Garden, October 17, biggest day for, for us, for people for TV. Thank you.